So you're here at Brooklyn College, and uh, you probably could have gone anywhere for the courses that you're taking right now. What made you come to Brooklyn College? Brooklyn College is one of the most diverse places I've ever seen. It <laughs> has a very large uh, student body with people from all over the world. Yeah. And that's why I was so excited to talk to everyone from my classes. Yeah, tell me about your, the, the courses you're taking. Yeah, I'm taking multivariable calculus, linear algebra, and a Python course here at Brooklyn College. A Python coding course. Yeah, a Python coding. Okay, so these are two mathematics courses and one computer science course. Is that correct? Yes. How do you like your courses? Uh, even though the courses are hard, the professors are very well spoken and I can really understand everything they say. My favorite class right now is probably Python because it's very unique uh, from the experiences I've uh, it's very different from the experiences I've previously had. How do you find the professors here at Brooklyn College? The one the three that you're taking? Oh yeah they're very nice uh, they've been very nice to me. They've been very understanding of the unusual situation I think they've been put in right now. And uh, I really have uh, loved to meet them and communicate uh, with them. I don't think uh, my courses would feel as good if I had different professors. And I think they've really made my experience at Brooklyn College the best they could be. Wow, that's great to hear. I'm really glad. You're here at Brooklyn College, you're taking an advanced master's class at Stony Brook, and you're also in high school full time, and you're just 11 years old. Tell me, what are you thinking of doing in the future? I mean, anything is open to you, right? You can't exactly plan out your life the way it is because unexpected things can always happen that completely uh, divert your road. So maybe, I mean, I aim to become a professor uh, maybe at an Ivy League university, but more so I would like to uh, help people who can't afford Ivy League level education and really need that inspiration to go into math and physics. Looks like you've written two books here. You want to share what each one is about? The Love was the first one you've written. Yes. What's it about? I started writing it in 2016, it finished it in 2019 because toddlers aren't very fast writers. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, but... <laughs> Uh, that makes sense yeah. though. Yeah. So you gave yourself some time. Uh, me and my family are Muslim and the f first thing that floats to the top of a lot of people's minds when they hear Islam or Muslim is uh, well like 9-11 or other similar mm. terrorism and it's uh, kind of disheartening to me because sure. Uh, my uncle was actually uh, working in the World Trade Center when that happened. He made, uh, he made it out of there. But oh, good. Yeah. Wow. It was a tragic event, and I feel like people blaming every Muslim for uh, something that a few extremists committed right. is a kind of hate that people never deserve to receive. Never. You know about the We Stand Against Hate initiative here at Brooklyn College, where we try to bring people together across differences of race or religion or gender or any of the differences that we have, political differences, and talk to one another with compassion, trying to understand other people's viewpoints, put ourselves in other people's shoes, and increase uh, the compassion we have for one another. It sounds like this book is very much in line with that. Yeah, of course. Suborno, this has been a wonderful conversation, and I really want to thank you for coming to talk with us. It's been fascinating. No problem. It's been very nice to talk with you as well.